Hello there and welcome to another video where we're going to do an example of finding an eigenvalue and an eigenvector for a matrix. This time we're looking at a 3 by 3 matrix, the one you see here called M, and we're going to show that lambda equals negative 1 as an eigenvalue, and then we're going to find an eigenvector that corresponds to that eigenvalue. So the way we work this is we look at M and we want to find non-zero solutions to the equation MX equals lambda x. Lambda is negative 1 this time, so we're looking for non-zero solutions to that equation. So let's work with that equation over here, and we will first of all add x, the vector, to both sides, so mx plus x equals the zero vector, and this is the same as mx plus the identity matrix times x is the zero vector, and now I can factor out this vector factor of x and get the following. So I'm trying to find non-zero solutions to this homogeneous equation right here. To do that, uh, like any homogeneous equation, I'm going to uh, look at the coefficient matrix. That's m plus i, so let's write this down and figure out what that is. m, as you can see up above, is negative 1, 4, minus 4, negative 4, 7, minus 4, and negative 4, 4, negative 1. The identity matrix is, of course, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And adding those two matrices together gives us the following. It's 0, 4, minus 4, negative 4, 8, negative 4, and then negative 4, 4, 0. That's the coefficient matrix for this system, so I'm going to now just simply replace the coefficients with uh, what we just calculate them to be. So this is going to be 0, 4, minus 4 again, negative 4, 8, negative 4, negative 4, 4, 0. Now unlike the 2 by 2 cases that we've seen in previous videos, it's not totally obvious that the columns of this matrix are linearly dependent. Remember in the earlier videos, the linear dependence of the columns of the coefficient matrix are what allow me to say there are more than one uh, or there are non-trivial solutions to our original equation here. Uh, is that the case here? It's not totally obvious. So let's set this uh, homogeneous equation here up as a, an augmented matrix and just solve it and see what we get. So here is the system you see down here, except written as an augmented matrix. And I will do a quick row reduction step here and just jump to the end. You can do this on Mathematica or uh, do it by hand. And what we get when we row reduce here is 1, 0, minus 1, 0. And here's the partition. And then we have 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And then 0, 0, 0, 0. So that entire row of zeros in the bottom tells me that uh, there will be a free variable in this uh, system. And so the uh, columns of the original matrix uh, were, in fact, linearly, uh, of the original coefficient matrix, that is, were, in fact, linearly dependent. And so let's unpack the uh, general solution for this system here. I see that x3 is free. And I can also see that x1 and x2 are both equal to x3. So I'll just write this out. So here's how the general solution would play out. If I have a vector x that is a vector in R3, that's a non-trivial solution to the system, I now see that this is equal to uh, x3, x3, x3. I can pull out this factor of x3 and I'm left with a numerical vector 1, 1, 1. Now, let's just focus in on this uh, solution here. I'll outline the whole thing in red, like so. The solution tells us a few things. Uh, the two most important things it tells us is that, first of all, lambda equals negative 1 really is an eigenvalue. And the reason is I found a non-trivial solution to the original system. This is a non-trivial solution to this system, and so it's a non-trivial solution to this system. And the other thing that it tells me is that I found an eigenvector for this matrix. So I see that there are non-zero solutions to the original system, and any of those non-zero solutions will be an eigenvector. So this 1, 1, 1 vector right here is an eigenvector an eigenvector that corresponds to lambda equals negative 1. 
as an eigenvector for lambda equals negative 1. And you can check this by just going back through and multiplying 1 by 1, 1, 1 by m, the very original matrix, and you'll see that you end up getting negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, so that's an example of finding an eigenvector corresponding to a given eigenvalue for a 3x3 three three matrix, where finding the general solution for this homogeneous system is really the key step.